always wander in here right when I press record, don't you? That's a little weird. Come here. Oh, he's so cute. Everybody loves you. Oh, you're trying to get away from your mommy. Oh. Today, we're doing my Sephora VIB sale haul. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so momentous because I finally, after... I don't know, eight years, almost 10 years, I finally hit VIB Rouge, okay? Yes, all right? And honestly, many people are asking me, do you feel any different? Yes, I do, okay? Yes. <laughs> like, I honestly, I'm walking around like I'm hot stuff now. Like, I, I am walking around like I am the queen of Shinobia. I'm, I am a VIB Scrooge because it's almost Christmas, so, I'm walking around like I'm all that. So that's the biggest change. And then I'm also getting like VIB Rouge emails, like private emails. Okay, private. Yeah. Oh my God, what is that secret society called? Oh my God, what is it called? Oh, hold on, I gotta look it up. Secret, the guy who invented the light bulb. Secret society. I mean, I really should just get to like showing you what, but I have to know. Oh, Freemasons. I feel like a Freemason right now. So I hit VIB Rouge. I'm very excited. This is a very, very, very big haul. Like a very big haul. I've never, I don't know it to my knowledge that I've ever done a haul like this. And I have more stuff on the way, but I just was like, I gotta get this out. They gotta see what I got. They gotta see it. So first things first, I did get, because I placed a very large order, I got a little like promo bag and it's actually pretty decent. So it came like this. Oh, by the way, I'm sure you guys already know, but the VIB sale, you get 20% off if you're a Rouge, 15% off if you're a VIB, and then you get 10% um, if you're a Beauty Insider, which any anybody can be a Beauty Insider. So if you wanna get anything, this is the time to get it, to get it, to get it. Okay, so I got a Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick, which is exciting. It's in the shade Golden Pink. I like love when I get free stuff for no reason. So it, it looks like this. Looks like that, very cute. It's actually really like kind of champagne. So I got one of those. I got a damn girl, little trial size of that. I got the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo, which I do need to try. Cause like, look at my roots. Ay, 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 girl. How is she making public videos with that hair? And then I got this Laneige Cream Skin, like little moisturizer thing. And then I got a huge bag of samples. I got a lychee mask. I'm not really a face mask person, to be honest with you. There's a lot of good stuff in here. I got a First Aid Beauty Bumps Be Gone Bump Eraser Body Scrub. Cute. That was the first thing that I got. The other thing I got, I had to get this. Like, I just had to get it. I saw it, and I just had to get it. And I swear to God, the city of New York is gonna file a season assist against me because I won't stop talking about their city. And I don't even, they're like, she doesn't even live here. Like, why is she obsessed with it? Like, what the heck? Um, but I just, I love New York City. So I had to get this like tote bag. It's like a canvas tote bag. It says Sephora loves New York. And I, I showed this, like I honestly just bought this to show to my husband to like try to convince him to like buy me a ticket. Like, let's go, you know what I mean? Because I, I go, oh my God, look, it's our favorite places. It's Washington Square Park, the Monument, Brooklyn Bridge, um, Williamsburg, Soho, like, and I go, oh my God, there's pizza on there. Remember when we used to eat pizza there? I don't know, I was desperate. Okay, then I got this. <laughs> okay, look, I, I never thought I'd see the day that I would see SpongeBob SquarePants at Sephora. Like it just, that seems like an Ulta thing, but I saw this, I had to get, like I had to get this. And it's honestly, Probably of everything I bought besides that bag brings me probably the most joy because I love Spongebob Coincidentally, I've been watching episodes of it. I just I don't know. I love it It's probably honestly like I think back to my favorite shows and it's probably Spongebob like it still holds up If you go and look at like if you watch episodes, it's still funny. So anyway So it's a seven day like mini makeup eraser you get like a mini for each day of the week and it's Spongebob theme, obviously, but they were too cute. And I actually really like the makeup eraser and I usually use it like in place, if I do use it, it's good for travel, first of all, cause it can replace like your makeup wipes or something like that. I usually will use it just like on my face because my eye makeup is kind of hard to get off, but so cute. 
<laughs> so here's plankton. I, I mean, just let me know, comment below which one's your favorite. Plankton, we have Mr. Krabs, so cute. We have Patrick, so cute. Like, stop it. We have SpongeBob, okay, the, the OG, right there. And then we have Gary. These are all, they're all so cute. We have Squidward, who's probably, he might be my favorite, I don't know. I just, like, I sympathize with him, and I especially sympathize with these wrinkles, because I have those on my forehead right where he has them. And then um, I, we have Sandy. So, I mean, just so cute. <laughs> these are just, like, they can make you smile. Oh my god, I love them. And I'll, here's what I'll say, like, just speaking to, uh, like, a makeup eraser in general, it works so well. Because you know what I'll do is I'll usually use, like, a makeup wipe. Like, look, I know. All right. People shouldn't be using makeup wipes. I don't know. Say what you want to say. But whenever I use the makeup eraser to like get my face makeup off and then I'll follow it up with like a toner or a cleansing pad or something. And a lot of time there'll be something left over when I use a makeup wipe. Nothing, hardly anything, virtually nothing is left over when I use the makeup eraser. It's so good. Makeup eraser really does work. Next I want to show you some, I bought some IGK products because I love them. I'm going to move this down because I'm like, my legs are cramping. Nice. Okay. So I got this and I already used this, I'm not even gonna lie. So this is the IGK Antisocial Overnight Bond Building Dry Hair Mask. Now does that ever sound good? How, as Ida Garden would say, how bad could that be? Okay, how bad could that be? I actually like the name too, Antisocial. What I was really interested in was the dry hair mask. Cause I'm like, oh, that's like, yeah. I, I mean, I could see that working good. So it says you have dry damaged hair you don't want to restyle. Me every day. And it says, you want deep hair repair, a mask without mess. Yes, I do. And then it says, how to get it, apply to dry hair before bed, comb through, wake up and go. You guys, look, I shouldn't be saying this. This works, okay, this works. I actually really felt like my hair, I woke up and I'm like, wow, it feels so soft. And just like, it, it for days though, like I used this like two days ago or something and I, and I woke up and I'm like, works like it actually does work and it's so soft and just the convenience of something where you just spray it in your hair before you go to bed and then you wake up and it it like looks good and feels good try it and it also smells delish okay really good so then i got this igk good behavior four in one prep spray so that's really cute it's a detangler 24 hour frizz control and a 450 degree heat protection and it's a shine spray so it has all these things going on. I think that you, yeah, apply it to wet, clean hair before you like style it and stuff like that. I, I have like a thousand like products that I apply at that time. So I'm just gonna incorporate this in there. I will say once again, it smells so good. And I think, here's what I think this product is. I used to get my hair done <laughs> at Mario Tricocci. And the reason why I always laugh is because if you've ever been to Mario Tricocci, you know, <laughs> salon. <laughs> They, they're, they have a lot of chains. You know that you have to pay extra to get your hair blow dry. <laughs> and like my husband always make fun of me because he's like, how are you going to a place that doesn't blow dry your hair? Like I would come home after getting my hair colored and I would have wet hair. <laughs> so anyway, they do have like a blow dry bar in the back, which is free. So you can go and like blow dry your own hair. But it's just like, it, it's sort of, I don't know. It's just, it's a very weird, strange experience. But when I used to go back there, they would have a ton of IGK products back there. And I used one one time that smelled so good and it worked so good. And I've never, I just wasn't able to remember what it was. So I think this is what it was. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is what it was. And I've seen other people recommend this a lot. So I wanted to pick it up. Okay, that was very long winded and you probably didn't need to hear that story. So my camera died. <laughs> so when I was off screen though, I was reading the, this SpongeBob box. First of all, I forgot to say it's called Best Week Ever. And look at him, he looks so cute. But okay, I was reading this though, and by the way, you wash these like when you're done, when they're like dirty or whatever, you put them in the actual washer. And then what was interesting though is it says it erases waterproof mascara, eyeliner, foundation, lipstick, and more. Okay, so anyway, nice. Really nice. This is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. Now, I talked about this in my other Sephora haul that I did like not that long ago. <laughs> this though, I was watching so many Kathleen Lights videos before this, like this particular haul, and you will see I bought like almost everything she's ever talked about. But 
she talks about this because she's like, this is like a collaboration. So the way leave-in conditioner is my favorite leave-in conditioner of all time of all of them. But they did, I guess, like a collaboration with Byredo and it's like in a scent, Mojave Ghost. And she's like, oh my God, this is the best. So I was like, oh, well, I love that leave-in conditioner and I'm sure that it would smell good. So it does smell, by the way, really good. Like it just smells like somebody who's, um, it's a woody composition. Honestly, yeah, that's, yeah. I, I don't know. I would go in either and like smell this in person or uh, it just, it smells good. I think most people would like the smell of this. Like it's, it's really sort of like rich, like where would I wear this? You ask? Like maybe if I was at a, I feel like it would really make sense. That like during the winter, you're at a lodge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about. Okay. Anyway, moving on. We need to move on. So here, I'm just pulling stuff out now. So I also got this because I bought recently this, the Rare Beauty mini blush trio and it was so good. I was impressed immediately. I was like, oh my God, these are such good blushes. I am very interested to try more Rare Beauty stuff. So I saw this actually last time I was at um, Sephora and I was intrigued by it. So I just was like, all right, I'm just gonna get it because it's 20% off. So already there's stuff I love in here <laughs> already. So first thing I'll just talk about is it comes with a mini volumizing mascara, which is the mascara I'm wearing today. You guys, I tried this and immediately, I would, before I was even done with this eye, I still had one eye to go. I go, I'm getting the full size. One of the best mascaras I've, I have tried personally. And I'm not just saying this because I'm keeping an eye out for Selena. Like I swear this is really, really good. This is what the, um, like the base looks like. So good. I do wish that this was, the reason why I really want to get a full size too is it's it's a little close, like this handle is a little bit close, but I'm telling you, I'm like, my lashes are long, they're voluminous, they look gorgeous, and I it was right out of the tube too. You know how rare it is when you get like a good mascara right out in the tube? Very rare. So then it also comes with a matte liquid lipstick in this red color. Now, I don't know if this is going to be like my red, but... Like my perfect red because it's a little bit just not usually what I gravitate towards it's a little bit warmer than usually what I do I like that really cool tone red that makes your teeth look really white so we'll see on that one this is such a gorgeous blush like oh my god it's in the shade joy and it's so pretty look at the packaging of this you guys absolutely gorgeous packaging and like I said not just saying this I honestly genuinely like really like these products. I'm very surprised. I'm very, very surprised because I've had a very good impression of all these. Um, and then this is in Mesmerize and I thought this was so pretty. If you just, if you have to, this is like something you need to see in person, especially, or like go into a store and look at this and you're, you'll just be like, I need that. Like I, I definitely, definitely need that. And these blend out really well. The cream products or her cream products or whatever, they blend out really well. So, um, so well in fact that I can barely see where I put that. I can see it in person though. I'm just, I'm not sitting in good lighting right now. For sure, before the sale is over, like I'll probably, honestly, after I finish this video, I'll probably log on and order a full size mascara so I can get the discount on it because it's that good. It's that, it is that good, okay? So next thing I got was this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Duos. So it's $35, but you get four, like juicy lip duos and they're kind of like a tinted like slightly tinted like you know just juicy like you know kind of like no makeup day type of deal or whatever i'm sure you could wear this when you're wearing makeup too what i'm kind of pleasantly surprised though with and this would be a good gift idea okay is that they come in two separate little packages within the package i thought they were going to be just all four like loosely in there no, so you could actually give, and it has a place on the back too. You could say that there's a to and a from. You could actually give one of these to someone else. So I'm very interested. Um, it says for smoother, plumper lips, which isn't that what we all want and need? Yeah, they're like so super fine. You see what I mean? Like that's just, it's just pretty. Like that's really pretty. Ooh. Oh wow, I like that a lot. I like you know what these remind me of a lot are the ColourPop. ColourPop came out with like these 
they used to have, I don't remember what they were called. Maybe somebody down in the comments will know. They used to have them and they looked like in this shape and they were kind of like that. They were like the lippy sticks, lippy sticks. They were called the lippy sticks and they looked like this. And, but these are probably actually better because they're just like a, such a sheer, like gorgeous plumping coverage. I like that. All right, speaking of watching a million Kathleen Lights videos, this is another one where I bought it. So this is from Ilia. This is actually probably the first Ilia product I've ever had. And it's their um, Nightlight Bronzing Powder. And it's in the shade Drawn In. And like she is showing it and she had literally used like the whole, she had hit pan on it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try that. So it's, she was like talking about how the color is great and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. I used it today. Color is gorgeous. Like, and you know, for me, somebody for me, I always use the wrong bronzer shade and I use like way too dark of bronzer shade. So using this today, I was like, okay, this is finally something where it looks natural. It looks good. And it does give me like a very nice sort of like bronzy tan look, but it doesn't make me look muddy. Another thing that I bought because she said that she liked it, she was doing like a trying video. <laughs> it was this refry, refi, oh my God, stop. Refi cream bronzer in the shade sand. And I was just like, okay, I'm looking for a good cream bronzer. Another thing I ordered, which is not here yet, is the Anastasia cream bronzer. So I'll let you know which one I like better. But I did use this today and I did, once again, really like the color of it. So this is what it looks like. Um, I did like it, it was very creamy, easy to blend out. So yeah, I mean, usually, I'll tell you which one is my favorite, but I can't use it anymore. The OG OG cream bronzer, if you know, you know, is the Chanel Soleil de Tan or something. That is like, that's the OG right there. But I can't use it anymore, cause not cruelty free. But anyway, the next thing I bought because Everybody just says that they love this pro. They love this. Like everybody is saying that it's their favorite. So I was like, all right. So I used it today. Now I did a very neutral look, but I liked it. I was like, okay, it blends out pretty good. I, I guess I'm still, I need to watch like some tutorials on it because I don't really know like what, wow, look at that. <laughs> Very reflective. This is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. It's very pretty. Okay, very pretty. But I don't know what these like are for. Are they like bases for shadows? It's like cream products. So it's like, I don't know what that's for, to be honest with you. So far, it's really pretty. I will say this is really a powdery eyeshadow. I'm like kind of surprised. This one wasn't so much. I might just have to switch my... Um, my brush around for this one. Like these shades are really pretty though. I used this one on my lid today and um, they are kind of like a grown up sort of, I would say. There it is. See, that's pretty. It's sort of, yeah, like a grown up glitter kind of. I'm still figuring this out. I liked the look that I created, but it was kind of expensive. So I'll let you know. It's really nice, warm, like neutral shades. I gotta watch some tutorials on that one. But everybody says they love it. Everybody says they love it. So there must be something to like. Then I got this, the Italian Summer Face Palette. Now I've been kind of like eyeing this for a while, a long while actually. And I was, when I first saw it, I'm like, why is this so expensive? It's like $58 or something like that. And then I was like, okay, well I like the name Italian Summer. So that's kind of, chic and I was like I, I'm, I'm always looking I'm always looking for that perfect bronzer highlight blush face palette and I came close one time when I got the Too Faced peach palette but I don't like the highlighter that much in there so that is like the only thing keeping like holding me back so I was like all right let me just try this out because it's really really pretty right I will say though, the bronzer looks a little dark. I'm gonna have to try it. I didn't try that today, but I did use the blush and it was okay. It was sort of like powdery, I don't know. And then I did use the highlight and I really, the highlight wasn't really showing up a lot. So I'm kind of on the fence with this. I'm gonna have to keep trying it out and I'll let you know, but the packaging's really pretty. It is like kind of a nice, like, okay, you know, if you wanna travel with it, let's say, 
and you just want to consolidate everything into one palette that's why i keep searching for it i keep searching for that perfect palette because it would be so nice if every element of the palette was really good and you could travel with it and then you don't have to bring a bronzer you don't have to bring a highlight and you don't have to bring a separate like blush you know all right so here's something i didn't try today but i am excited for and this is the nude sticks and it's like a trio it's the blush bronze and glow it's called roses and honey nudes so it comes in the cutest packaging ever okay and these are so cute they're so small so this is the um all over face highlight right here um it's a little I will say it's a little dark. This might be like kind of a more of a, for me, this would probably be like a summer set more so, but I was very interested in this bronze color because it's, this is really pretty and this is a color that I feel like I could see myself using. So I'm going to try that for sure. And then the blush shade is also really pretty and I love, you know, blushes. So like cream blushes. So this is what that looks like. So it's actually a little darker than you would expect that blush is. But that makes it different. I have a lot of light colored blushes. So I got that little nice trio. That's cute. That'd be a good little stocking stuffer too. So I got this G Gizu, Gizu um, honey infused hair perfume. I love the Gizu whatever products. They're so luxurious for some reason and i just i just really really like them so i actually bought this in store because i went into a sephora inside kohl's the other day you guys it was huge it was like almost a full-size sephora i swear i was like what so anyway i bought this because i knew that the shipping when you ship perfume or when you buy perfume it doesn't come as like quickly so i'm like i'm gonna buy that in store so my shipping can come quicker so anyway this is what it looks like. This is just the mini one. It's the mini honey infused hair perfume. Oh my God. I've been looking for a hair perfume because in my perfect scenario, I'm walking down the street and my hair blows in the wind and like people get a big whiff of my hair. Like I want my hair to smell good. I don't care about anything else. I just want my hair to smell good. So I've been looking for a good hair perfume and I just like, I smelled this in store and I, was, I go, oh my God, I smell like that girl. You walk by, people smell you and they go, who's that? Like, who's that? That's what I want. And this is honestly, that's what it smells like. It's so good. I'm wearing it right now. It's just, it's luxury. It's luxury. So then I saw the other day too, um, somebody recommended their hair mask. They said it's the best hair mask, the honey infused one. So I'm going to order that too. <laughs> one sec. I like, I honestly hitting rouge, like the floodgates are open. Okay. Like now I'm just ordering everything. Cause I get free shipping on any order and I get 20% off during this sale. And I think it, I don't know when it ends, but I think we have like a couple, we have a long time still left. So anyway, next thing I got, I got this Too Faced Melted in Paris and I was really excited for this because these, I actually love the formula of these and I haven't had them in a while. The Melted Liquid Lipsticks are really good. So it comes with these four shades, it comes in Lady Balls, which I don't love that name. Like I actually hate that name. It comes in My Type Gingerbread Man and then Bottomless. So here are the shades on the back, but I actually love the shade Lady Balls. I mean, I, I hate the name. Like, I really hate that name, but I, I do like it, and I do need, like, a cool tone red, like I said, and that's what that shade is, and it's a good formula. So this is a nice, like, little, um, you know, travel one, and then I'm wearing this shade today called My Type, so that's what I'm wearing with something else I'll show you in a second. But I'm wearing this, and it's a really pretty, like, you know, nude color. Like a kind of a neutral nude. Pinky nude. And then there's this one, which is kind of like a nice fall one. It's got a little bit of, like, orange tint to it. Like, burnt orange. And then this one's more of, like, a pinky mauve. So, um, bottomless. So, it's just a really, it's a really, really good set. And you could always break it up and, like, put it in a stocking or put it in a little gift or something you know if you don't want the like other shades or whatever another thing i got because i saw kathleen lights is it is this refi cream blush oh my god i love this i love this i used this today gorgeous gorgeous i just for me personally this is like the shade of the year i will say the packaging is a little hard to get open this is such a good blush it's in the shade rose and it's so pretty it was so creamy and it was like sort of dewy and natural when it went on and i was just like oh my god i looked healthy like i looked youthful i looked glowy 
and then I covered it up with powder. <laughs> so I need to stop doing that. But anyway, it was such a good, so good, like so good. It's a nice like little like light pink, gorgeous. Here's another thing I was like gonna wear today and then I forgot it. I just, I'm so upset because I wanted to use this so bad. So everybody's going crazy over this. I don't know if this was like a TikTok thing. I'm not on TikTok. I actually deleted the app because I was just it's like, I don't know, I didn't like it. So um, this is the Sikapair Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. It neutralizes redness, protects skin, and improves skin appearance to be vibrant. And it also has broad spectrum SPF 30. So I believe this is like mostly for fair tone people. And it's like you put it on and it's like a color correcting, you know, you put it over redness and it neutralizes the redness and you put it under makeup. So I will let you know how that goes. Cause I have a huge, like this side of my face basically is like all red. Cause I have bad, I don't know if it's like a rosacea or what. I don't know if I can ever, like if there's a chance of me ever being able to get rid of it. But if there is, let us just know. All right, so let me show you this. I'm super excited about this. So this is what I'm wearing today and I love it, okay? And this is not a shade I would typically use. I saw somebody else recommend this and it's in the shade Truth. It's by Hourglass. And typically I wouldn't pay $30 for a lip gloss, but because of the sale, I did it. <laughs> okay, so I love this. First of all, very bougie. Hourglass is a very like luxurious brand. And it's just, it is gorgeous. This is just kind of like a pinky, neutral like mauvey pinky nude i'll tell you this the scent of this first of all i have to show you the applicator because it's kind of unusual it's like a pat you know i don't know it looks like that this smells like spicy mint like it's just it's very luxurious it's different than anything that i've ever smelled out of a lip product it's very luxurious and i will tell you not sticky really pretty 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 color gorgeous color gorgeous color i put it over that like two-faced one and i honestly think you could use this alone just as your lip color it's just it's really just a really pretty shine and like i i said i mentioned before but it's very hard to find a good lip gloss that does exactly what you want it to do there are very few good lip glosses i'm just i'm putting it out there okay i probably shouldn't be saying that very few okay this is really good. I will say that. It is really good. Really good. Do I think it's worth $30? I don't know. Look, jury's still out. But maybe during the sale, that's why I'm saying maybe during the sale. Okay, I have to show you this. So I finally ordered this because the, my last haul, I had a little bit of drama happen where I grabbed the wrong palette on accident. So I ordered the Supreme Bronze by Artist Couture, finally. And this is the one that I wanted. And this was very intriguing to me because I'm a very, I'm a big lover of like neutral palettes. So I just felt like this was kind of like, it's a neutral palette, but then because this shade like kind of threw me off, the Soleil and the Gilded, these two, they kind of threw me off a little bit. I was like, oh, I don't really usually see that in like neutral palettes. So I kind of was interested in that. It's got a good mix of neutrals. It's got like I always, when I look for a neutral palette specifically, I always want to see like this shade, like the, the lid shade, because I feel like that's so important and I want to see a black and some good transition shades. So I, I felt like that had that. I will say when I have it in person, it's maybe, it maybe looked like more vibrant online, but I'll give it a go and I will see. But I decided in a, in a strange twist of fate, Okay, I decided to keep this palette from my last haul, so the Supreme Nudes. I was like being so shady about this. I was like, yeah, it looks so boring. And then all of a sudden, Kathleen lights in her video. <laughs> she goes, this is my favorite palette. And I go, oh, maybe I should keep that and like take another look, you know? So, I mean, yeah, I I'll try it out. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Like once again, this is another neutral palette. Do I need another one? No. But it does have some really pretty shades in it now that I kind of look back at it. And it's got like some really warm tone. Lots of good transition shades. So I'll, I'll give it a shot. And then these two also have really nice big mirrors in them, which I like a lot. I'm so sick of using palettes that don't have mirrors. This. This is another one 
that I have tried out and I love. It's the Isle of Paradise Night Glow Self Tan Face Mist and it's a relaxing gradual glow. I love it. <laughs> I love this. It's such a good idea, especially if you are like a perpetual self tanner as I am. And I always want to be tan, but it's hard to maintain it. You know, it's hard to maintain it. This is something easy you can do at night. You just spray it onto your face. You shake it and you spray it onto your face. I usually will put like a headband on first before I do anything. And then I'll spray my face. And I'll tell you the first day, like when I woke up the next day after I did it, I didn't see anything. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. The next day I did see it and then I read down here that it is a gradual glow, which is nice. You can just kind of, you know, get gradually and gradually more tan and like more glowy. It, it does look very glowy and it does look very natural. And I'll tell you what, this smells good. And I will tell you, it's hard to find good smelling self tanner. There's something about self tanner that just, it reeks. And I really, really like this. And it is kind of a nice calming mitt, like, mist for the night but then a calming scent also for nighttime so i really 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 like this a lot like i like this a lot and i really feel like this was a good purchase for me that i'm gonna use every single day two more things i swear so another thing i got is this kosas tinted face oil i wanted this for so long but i was kind of like unsure about it but i think i saw emma chamberlain in an older video like ma like maybe almost a year ago i saw her use this and from that point on, I was like, I want to get this. I did get it in shade like four, and I feel like I probably should have got shade three, but I did buy this online. But you shake it, and it's just like a tinted face oil, like, you know, one of those tinted products that makes you look kind of, like, I was picturing this for on the go, you know, like that, that on the go look where you just are like, all right, I'm running to the store, or somebody, you know, somebody came over unexpectedly, and now you got to throw makeup on upstairs. I don't know. <laughs> I just I, I want to be prepared like you know what I mean I need to be prepared so I wanted to try this and uh, I got that and then finally my last product I cannot believe this I'm finally done <laughs> my last product is this um, artist couture diamond lights finisher and, and Kathleen Light said this was her favorite <laughs> so I got this this was like the color that I probably like the most it's called diamond bronze and I just heard that these are like good, you know, to sh put over a look. Like they're, they are finishers. They're finishing um, glitters. So I really, I mean, I want to open it, but I just don't want this to go all over my floor and my outfit, you know? But yeah, it's like a very fine sort of glitter. Oh yeah, you can kind of see that. See how it's like, it's catching the light. I put this on the worst, worst possible place that I could have put it. See how it's catching the light a lot? That's pretty. So you know, just a little something, something, a little something, something. I'm with glitter, like I, I have to have glitter on. Like I'll never be able to part. I wore glitter on my wedding day, like a lot. <laughs> so most people probably wouldn't do that. So I'm very, like if there's a glitter out there, like I'm probably gonna buy it and give it, you know, give it the old college try. All right, anyway, that's everything that I got. <laughs> Did I get enough stuff? And like I, me already planning on buying more stuff. I just love this time of year too. It's like, it's such a good perfect timing for this to come out because it's like holiday season, you know, every, I'm like, I'm so shopping till I drop right in this moment right now. So anyway, let me know what your favorite thing was. What else should I buy? Like, just leave a comment because I'm, I'm placing another order as we speak because I need to place it before this, you know, the sale goes, you know what I mean? Like I need to get more stuff while the sale's going on. It's so obvious and I'm a rouge now. So, you know, <laughs> nobody forget that I'm a rouge, right? Nobody forget. I'm putting this on my resume. VIB rouge. November 2021. Thank you very much. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you liked it and I will link everything down below if you want to buy anything, if you want to buy anything that I bought. Um, I'll, everything will be linked down below. I encourage you to use them. They are affiliate links. So help a girl out and help me repay this, this, you know, help me repay for this. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Across the room